So now that we've crashed the project all the way down to its crash point of 16, figured out what the direct cost would be, it's now time to determine what the optimum cost time schedule. Remembering that as we reduce the duration of the project, we incur savings in indirect costs. So we go ahead and add the direct and the indirect cost, and for this problem we're going to assume that we save 100 for each time period we take off. We total those up. Simple math, addition, 2960 again, 3000, 3080. And so we have a tie here in terms of period 19 and 18. So the optimum time period would be 18 since for the same amount of money we can knock another time unit off. So we always want to take into account both direct costs and indirect costs. And one thing I should point out, there's an additional cost that isn't even considered here, and that is the opportunity cost. We get this project done in 18 instead of 21. We now have three time units, whether it's days or weeks, to do other work. And that could be another consideration in terms of crashing the project. But in terms of our simple cost time schedule with direct cost and indirect cost, the sweet spot in this network is 18 at a cost of 2960.